Philomel Aubin is a bit of an exception in the exhibition in that he, he wasn't a voodooist. He was, in fact, a Baptist, which is quite unusual. Most um, Haitians uh, were and are Catholic as well as voodoo. His paintings were these very, very detailed scenes of the social situation in Cap Haitian, but also historical events. He's describing an episode during the American occupation rebels, they were called uh, the Kakos. They were like a kind of peasant army in many ways and they were um, rebelling against the American occupation that brought with it, for example, forced labor and people lost their lands to large American-owned companies. At the same time, there are little traces of voodoo that I think give it a meaningful place in the exhibition. It may seem far-fetched, but to most Haitians would see in this bridge a link to Ogu, who I talked about earlier, the warrior god. Uh, Ogu's color is red. And um, you can see that many of the rebels, they all wear scarves. Many of them wear red scarves. Um, there's one even around the arm. And this would symbolize um, Ogu as the warrior spirit, the spirit of revolution. And by doing that, they were making a link um, down through history between a recent anti-colonial event, the resistance against the US occupation and the Haitian Revolution, but also making a connection as to how this has entered Haitian mythology and how Haitian mythology and voodoo and voodoo spirits come to the aid of uh, the Haitian Revolution and the continuing uh, struggle for Haitian autonomy. It's also very symbolic of the revolution in that uh, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, who led the Haitians eventually to liberation in 1803 and was the first emperor uh, from 1804, uh, he was assassinated by rivals in 1806 at a place called Pont Rouge, so Red Bridge. So there'd be a direct link made there. And in fact, Dessalines, of all the generals, of all the heroes, and there are three or four of them uh, that are really entered legend of the Haitian Revolution, he's the only one that's been transfigured into a voodoo god. And there is, in fact, an Ogu Dessalines. So he's now a spirit, and there are ceremonies to Dessalines. So he's both a very real historical character someone that defeated um, Napoleon's army, as well as now a spirit that there are ceremonies to. And just to our left here, we see the leader, their leader, who's called Charlemagne Perrault. Perrault, their very inspirational leader, was assassinated by the US Marines. And this had the unfortunate effect for the US occupation of turning Perrault into a martyr. It looked very like the martyrdom of a saint, further heroicized Perrault and a Kakos struggle against the US occupation, and further mythologized him and their cause. And it's linked to this, you know, unbroken, uh, this unbroken link to the Haitian Revolution.